It's been nearly three months since the Senate passed the Bipartisan Leahy Crapo Violence Against Women Reauthorization Act. Three months. We're no closer to enacting this bill into law than we were in April when 68 senators, Republican and Democratic senators alike, voted for this critical legislation that protect women from domestic and sexual abuse. And I'm concerned that politics went again the way of passing this critical legislation this year. Protecting every victim of this violence should be above politics. Members of Congress in both chambers set aside the political rhetoric, act swiftly to reauthorize this landmark legislation and save countless lives. And time is running out. There are only a few weeks left in this session before election year politics take over and Congress comes to a standstill. There are critical improvements in the Leahy Crapo reauthorization bill that will not take effect unless Congress acts. We can't simply say that oh, if we don't enact it, maybe we can do it next year or the year after. There are a lot of major programs that can only be enacted in this bill, not in appropriations, not any other way. The SALT programs then will not receive the added support they need unless we pass our bill into law. Legislation's emphasis on increasing housing protection for victims, preventing homicides, will not have an opportunity to help vulnerable victims across the country. Important improvements in campus safety, prevention program for teens will not occur. Immigrant victims, Native women, LGBT victims will continue to remain without the services, protection they need and deserve. Legislation is too important to wait. I hear from victims and the professionals who work on their behalf. They say they need the improvements made by the Leahy Crapo bill. They need them today. And the legislation is particularly important during difficult economic times because the economic pressures facing many Americans can pose additional hurdles. Active community networks are needed to provide support to victims in these circumstances, like emergency shelters and transitional housing and counseling. Late last month, I had the opportunity to speak at the VAWA National Days of Action Rally, where survivors and professionals in the field, those who have dedicated their lives to helping victims all over the country, gathered together to send Congress a message. And they told me that they are very frustrated by the lack of progress in passing VAWA, and rightfully so, because they and the victims they serve are the ones who are affected by Congress in action. They were so inspired when this body came together and 68 of us voted to pass it. Now they say, when are we going to finish? The message to Congress was loud and clear. Do your job. Pass VAWA now. And supporting the work of these tireless advocates and the victims they help should be our priority. Victims should not be forced to wait any longer. They're not going to be able to benefit from the improvements we made in the Senate bill unless both houses of Congress vote to pass this legislation. Problems facing us too serious for Congress to delay. Remember, this kind of violence knows no political priority. Its victims are Republican and Democrat, rich and poor, young and old. As I said so many times, a victim is a victim is a victim. And helping these victims, all these victims should be our goal,